We're Jimmy and Natalie, and for the last two months, we've been driving our camper van across Canada. This week, we are committed to truly experiencing the Canadian Rockies. This is brutal. From hiking on a glacier to riding the famous Jasper Sky Tram, we're going out of our comfort zone. That thing better be on. It's on. For some truly once in a lifetime experiences in and around Jasper National Park. This morning, Jimmy and I are gonna go hike on a glacier. We have never been on a glacier before though, so we decided to play it safe and we booked a tour. So a big red bus is gonna drive us out there just to make sure that we don't fall down any crevasses or anything. We are very, very excited for this. I'm less excited that it started to rain though. It'll be snow once we get up high enough. Gosh, it might actually be. That would be kind of cool. Alright, so the situation is, is that most cars cannot make it up the glacier. So what this company has done is modified a few buses with five foot tires so that they can take us most of the way up the glacier. I think we just figured out you get on these big coach looking buses and they take you to the cool buses. So I promise these are not the ones we were raving about. <laughs> oh, this does kind of feel like a school field trip. I'll be driving you folks up to the transfer base and note that there's no seatbelts on this bus, but there are on all our ice explorers plus a lot of others. So if there's one provided, please use it. Trust me when I tell you that, I would say dip a hand in, have a mouthful, yeah, have a little glacial facial. That will definitely wake you up. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good time. Hey, great. Good. This is more like it. <laughs> We just learned that this vehicle that we just boarded is called an Ice Explorer. There's only two other ones in the world and they're permanently stationed in Antarctica. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wonderful, I got a full bus, all 56 seats, my goodness. All right, Moraine is a French word translating to giant pile of dirt, rock and dust. walking on a glacier. Feels like a giant hard packed slushy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 30 degrees colder up here than it is at the base. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> We're on the Athabasca Glacier right now. One of the mountains to our left is Mount Athabasca. There's also Mount Andromeda. So one thing they made sure to point out was that the water coming off of the glacier is so clean you can fill your water bottles with and even go for a little glacial facial. Their words, not ours. Not ours. <laughs> I might try it though. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're gonna mess up your makeup. I don't have makeup on. I'm starting to think Jimmy kind of likes cold plunges. I need you to hold this for me. <laughs> All right. Oh. I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. My jacket's gonna get in it. Hold on. I know. Yeah, I think I have a brain freeze. <laughs> Are you awake yet? I mean, it feels good, honestly. It's very refreshing. Really? Yeah. Huh. You want to try? Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to convince her to do it, too. She's worried about her makeup. <laughs> I know. I know that's vain, but <laughs> I got to do it. We've never been on a glacier before. We got to take full advantage of it. 
All right, go for ready. it. It's all you. All right. That thing better be on. It's on. <laughs> Oh, I know what you mean about the brain freeze. It feels wow. good though, right? Yeah. Oh, it hurts my head though. <laughs> <laughs> so the glacial water is so clean that you can apparently drink it. And we didn't bring an empty fresh cup, so um, we got something else. Is there any way I could get a straw? Yeah, of course. Thank you. It's as fresh as it gets. <laughs> How is it? Pretty good. Yeah? I hope nobody's sticking their face in it upstream. <laughs> I think I got some dirt off the bottom, but it's oh. pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, they set up a lot of these barrier ropes so that we can't go much further. The bus driver was explaining that they really try to limit the amount of dirt that gets on the glacier because when you track more dirt, it gets black and brown and then the dark colors attract more light, making the glacier melt faster. So. Oh, I zoned out for that part. That's wow. Cool. <laughs> That's cool though. <laughs> you can book uh, hikes where they guide you out here and they give you like proper glacier hiking equipment so you're not sliding around in the ice. And it's also safer that way because there's huge crevasses that you can fall down and get stuck. So maybe next time. It does sound like a lot of fun. I think you might have cut your nose on the ice. Oh really? Yeah, you got a little... Is it bleeding? Well, just the, the tip of your nose just has a little bit of red. It did feel sharp. Oh. <laughs> we really wanted to get a shot with the uh, with the Canada flag, but um, we're supposed to be back on the bus at 12:15, and it's 12:15 now, so I think we might have missed our chance. Oh. I just stand right there. To your right. Right here. Yeah. Right, now hold your left hand up. Perfect. <laughs> they really only give you like 20 minutes to explore the glacier. It's really not that long. I wish it was longer. Um, but right after this, we get to go do the skywalk. We've been running and sliding around too. I don't think we could have moved any faster. Uh -uh. Oh my God. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hi. I, just oh, I think we just barely made it. <laughs> All right, so we just took one more, very beautiful, very short bus ride, and now we're at the Skywalk. When we were on the glacier, we only had about 20 minutes to explore before we had to get back on our bus or we would get left behind. But here, they told us we could stay until like 7 p.m. I don't know if we'll make it that long, but, <laughs> but we've got a bit more time to see it. That's crazy. <laughs> this is the one time you do want to look down. I know. <laughs> this is such a view. I know. All that water down there is coming off of the glacier that we just went on. I gotta get one of you laying down. Alright. We gotta do laundry anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look cool? It looks so cool. Nice. <laughs> Can you see what made us? I hope so. I hope so. They look really down. <laughs> Well, that was really fun. Uh, very crowded though. Between everyone who's trying to get a good photo and everyone who's scared of heights and struggling to even stand on there, it is a little tough to walk by, but it, totally understandable. <laughs> the cool thing about the parking lot that we parked in is that it not only is the parking lot for the ice explorers, but it doubles as an overnight RV campground. It's still just a parking lot, but it's within walking distance and it's only $16.75 Canadian a night, which is eh, not free, but you know, it's cheap. 
it's like incredible for the view that you have. Yes. We're way back there. We parked as close to the glacier as we could. Good morning! We are getting ready to drive out of our campsite. Honestly, the days here are so long that you kind of have to force yourself to go to bed. It's very easy to forget, but we're really starting to get used to it. We are about to finally head into Jasper. We've got just under an hour and a half of driving to do, and the rain's starting to pick up a bit again. Um, we're hoping that that's not going to mess up our plans too much. This is our last glimpse of the glacier for a while. We are at the famous Jasper Sky Tram. We're gonna be taking a gondola to the top of a mountain whose name we don't know yet. Okay, I did look it up. It's called Whistler's Peak. Once again, that will be flight number 14, departing at 9.57 a.m. I think it's really cute how they call them flights. Oh yeah, that is sweet. <laughs> Makes it more exciting. That's cool. We're about to pass our support tower when we do, we get a little bit of a sway on the way past. That's a house man. Okay. Yeah, that's it. We only have the one support tower, so it'll be a smooth ride from here on out. Alrighty, uh, so we're just slowing down because we've reached Jumper Station, so we'll just hike at your own risk. So please be careful, and if you're doing the hike, please make sure you have appropriate footwear. Step. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right, that was a lot busier than I had hoped it was going to be. And we probably got the worst spot in the tram. We were way in the front. We couldn't see any of the mountains. We've booked our return flight for three hours from now, so we've got plenty of time. And essentially, there's two things to do. You can hike to the peak, which is behind me that way or the way we came up is the restaurant, which we will try to do both. It's doable, but it looks steep. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. It's a little bit more uphill than we had thought. Yeah, the whole way up is marked as difficult. It's a good thing we have three hours though. <laughs> Last week, we found our first red chairs, which the Canada Park System puts at scenic spots that are less visited. There's a set of red chairs here that's at a fault summit for Whistler Peak, and that's our goal. There's a real summit that we could keep hiking towards, but um, I'm not sure if we're gonna go there. We're gonna do the red chairs first, and then we'll decide. Good job slaying all that while walking uphill. <sighs> it wasn't easy. Getting a little nervous about our red chair plan because I heard some people walk back down past us and they were saying that the red chairs were a lie. So I hope that they're wrong. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I heard someone say it. I don't know if they were right, but... Alright, I'm not seeing any red chairs. I know. This is the false summit, so it looks like a summit. And you can see like 360 views of the mountains around us, but I don't see red chairs.
Well, I'm a little disappointed that there were no red chairs, but that makes the decision easier for us because I feel like there's no way we can't hike to the peak now. This spot is definitely red chair worthy. Oh yeah. Don't regret going to it. It was just on the hike surprise. here. On the hike here, I was gonna praise the person who brought two heavy wooden chairs up here. <laughs> now I know they didn't even do that. <laughs> they lied. <laughs> they lied. It was too steep for even them. Yeah, makes me feel better. That's where we're going next. I hope that's it. Yeah, our full intention is to go eat at the restaurant after this. But the menu prices are crazy. It's like $30 for a sandwich. So we might be splitting a dessert. Yes, a sky-high restaurant has sky-high prices. Wow, did you just come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the lack of air at this altitude. <laughs> My jokes get worse. <laughs> So there's the town of Jasper. Over there you see Lake Edith and Lake Annette. And then probably the most recognizable mountain is Pyramid Mountain right there. Kind of looks like a pyramid. I am so glad we did this. It's always really fun summiting something. It just feels like an accomplishment. That being said, I'm really looking forward to the hike down. It's gonna be so much faster and there's cake at the bottom. Could we get two Diet Cokes and uh, the triple chunk brownie to split? Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you. All right, I don't know what to get first. There's just so many layers to it. Yeah, I would just go for it. What was that face? There's banana on this. <laughs> it's good. Oh my gosh. That is a uh, complex. <laughs> Very fancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we've got three minutes until our gondola leaves. Late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. We should do it much rain before we grows. Ah, well, that was fun. We got the back of the gondola again so we couldn't really see the mountain range but it was still fun we had a lovely conversation with the uh tram operator so our flight attendant our flight attendant if you will <laughs> that thing was packed there were over 20 people on that gondola and i'm pretty sure it was smaller than our van i can't i can't imagine having like 20 people in here right now and she said the max capacity was 30. that's insane but well, we're in jasper obviously um but i think we're gonna save exploring the town for next week. We did kind of max out our budget on these last two activities, but uh, I think it's well worth it. If you're in the area, I would highly recommend both of them. Yeah, the glacier was like once in a lifetime. That was insane. Yeah, if I had to pick one of the two, I would pick the glacier tour first. Me too. But thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next week and bye. <laughs> you look like a pretty murderer. <laughs> But we're in good hands. <laughs> I need to see his license. I think I just saw a screw fall off. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs>